for a link to this calculator, please check the description and we'll get right to it. This is the calculator loaded up. Now it might look a bit daunting with numbers and lines everywhere, but it's actually fairly easy to use. And there's only a couple of things you have to worry about. So we'll show you how to use all these things in just a moment. But for now, what we're concerned with is jumping into the game we want to know the field of view of. And we're finding something on the ground with 90 degree angles so we can form a box like this. So you want to take a screenshot of a diamond shape so we can replicate having an intercept point down here and an intercept, intercept point uh, up here. Now it doesn't have to be this many squares or even this exact shape. It could just be a small tile like this but we just need to find something like this and align it in a diamond shape and take a screenshot. So we'll show you an example in Valorant next. Depending on the game, it may take some exploration and time, but in this example here in Valorant, we've found a grid of tiles here. So now we're trying to align them up in that diamond shape so we can have that intercept point at the top and the bottom. So once we're in this position, we take a screenshot and then we head over to the calculator. Here's the example image from Halo that'll load up when you open up the web page. You can use this just for reference. So what we're going to try and replicate is having a grid on the ground with intercept 1 being down at the bottom and intercept 2 being up at the top. So we head to the cross and upload our image. Now we need to set that to 1920 by 1080 and we can minimize the other image by clicking on the dot. Okay, so firstly, we need to put these intercepts on the grid. So we're gonna be using this uh, grid of four squares. All right, so first one seems to be in a good spot. So we'll move the second one. Now the higher quality your image and the better graphics you have set in game are going to make this easier. Alright, that looks about right. So the easiest way to do this is to choose one of these points, so the VP Majora or the VP uh, Minora. So we'll take this one and what we're trying to do is line up the red with the corresponding lines. So mainly we're going to be looking at this one. So right now that looks straight, but you can see it's corresponding line up here flares out a bit. So we're going to adjust the horizon to make it a little tighter. And that appears to still be flaring out just a bit. So you can see it starts in the middle of the line up here, but down here it's right at the top. So go up a little further and each time we're just trying to align it here because that's the clearest one we can see and that's slightly off-centered. So it's looking better but it's still flaring up a bit too high. And that is just about right. Tiny bit more. Alright, so that is looking good for now. So now we'll try the other section. So on these long lines, it's good to see how the line ends up at the end. So you can tell if it's flaring out at all. So about there is centered. And that's actually looking pretty perfect already. This is perhaps a little too high, but it's high down here too. So it might just mean we've put the intercept in like slightly the wrong position, but you can tell they're still straight. So that's what we're looking for. Once everything's perfectly lined up, and it is important to take your time here and iterate as much as you need, because if your lines are off even by a small amount, you can change your output by several degrees, and that's going to throw you off. 
So once you're sure it's nice and accurate, head over onto the left side and you can see our first number here is our horizontal degrees or horizontal 16 by 9. So games like Valorant and Overwatch use this. Our second number here is horizontal 4 by 3. So Apex Legends uses this. And our third number is vertical degrees and Battlefield 5 uses this. So in our example, we were in Valorant and we already know that that's horizontal 16 by 9 and it's set to 103. But we can also see that our output was 103.04. So we know that it was able to calculate the field of view near perfectly. So if you were to emulate this process for a game with an unknown field of view, or perhaps a field of view that you couldn't convert to a field of view you wanted, like horizontal 16 by 9, you would now have these numbers that you can use for your focal length scaling calculations. Thank you.